Hello Aries, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Aries, here, we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aries currently view this relationship? Okay, so far so good. So we have the Magician. We also have the Seven of wands and then we also have the eight of pentacles you could be dealing with a virgo possibly a gemini maybe even a leo you might just have that uh within your chart but in regards to how you're currently viewing um this relationship aries you know currently at the moment i do see you working on something okay whatever it is that you're working on um you know it's something that you've been wanting to manifest into fruition you know for yourself for quite some time now but with the seven of wands coming out here you're very determined to not allow anything or anyone stand in your way from manifesting and creating whatever this thing is that you want to manifest and create for yourself into fruition okay um you know maybe in the past you know you have allowed people to stop you, um, you know, from turning that passion of yours into a business, you know, maybe, um, you've just allowed life, you know what I mean? Uh, to stop you from going after, you know, whatever this thing is that you want to manifest and for, into fruition here for yourself. But it kind of looks like you're finally deciding like, nope, like I'm going to go off and do this. I'm going to go off and make this happen. And, and that's just that. And I'm not going to let anything, um, you know, stand in the way of me going off and, you know, manifesting whatever this thing is that I want to manifest into fruition. It just kind of looks like, you know, either you allowed life to get in the way or you've allowed, you know, people, you know, uh, to, to get in the way of you manifesting, creating whatever this thing is that you want to fruition, but it kind of looks like you're not allowing that to happen anymore. All right. How does this person currently view this relationship? Somebody feels, um, interesting. Somebody feels very neglected by you. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody who feels very neglected by you, but there's also someone here that feels like you're up to no good. Like it's like a combo of both. It's like, not only do they feel very like ne neglected by you, they also kind of feel like you're up to no good at the same exact time. Whoever this person is, it could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. It could be somebody, um, that you were probably building towards a relationship with. I just kind of feel like whoever this person is, it's somebody that you were definitely prioritizing. OK, um, but it kind of looks like you're not prioritizing them anymore. It kind of looks like you're prioritizing whatever this thing is that you want to create, whatever this thing is that you want to manifest into fruition here for yourself, which is naturally causing them right to feel, you know, neglected by you. OK, but again, it's like a combo, right, of both. It's like they feel extremely neglected by you, but they also feel like you're up to no good at the exact same time. So, you know then there's that i feel like this person's kind of noticing yeah i feel like this person's kind of noticing um how much you've drastically changed and it does kind of have them a little bit worried and concerned it does it definitely does all right um hmm, i want to look at this person a little bit more how does this person currently feel hmm we have the King of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. And then we also have the Three of Cups. Hmm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups. We got the Page of Wands. And then we also have the uh, Queen of Wands. True pair situation, by the way, uh, between you and this person. We do have the King and the Queen of Wands. This could definitely represent somebody that you're currently in a relationship with. Um, or either married to, or it's somebody that you're working towards, you know, a relationship with. There's somebody here. There's someone. Yeah, there's someone here that this person feels um, really threatened by. But it's somebody that you know. It's someone that you surround yourself with. But yeah, there, there's someone in particular that they feel really, really threatened by. It's just one person in particular that they feel really, really threatened by. That they don't necessarily like. Nor do they even want you, like, around. 
um, this individual in particular, but it kind of, how, how to explain this? So like, even though they may not like this person that you're surrounding yourself with, um, even though they may feel threatened by this person that you're surrounding yourself with, they, they kind of feel like they have no choice but to sit here and deal with it, you know, and accept the fact, you know what I mean? That you got to be around whoever this human being is. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay. Time more about the Five of Swords. Whatever this thing is that you currently find yourself up to, whatever this thing is, right, that you currently find yourself up to, um, it's not something that they want to get in the way of um, because they know how much it means to you. Uh, they know how much you've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. So they don't really want to get in the way of you making your dreams a reality. They don't. They, they honestly don't want to get in the way of all of that. However, oh boy, do they want to. Oh man, oh boy, do they want to. And I feel like it has a lot to do with like a particular person. You know what I mean? Um, so like, how do I say this? Let's say for perfect example, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into fruition is, well, I don't know, like a business, right? Let's say you're deciding to go into business with someone in particular. Well, that's someone in particular you're deciding to go into business with. They just so happen to not like this person or even want you around them. But because you guys are going into business together, well, they can't really say anything. Um, you know, they, they kind of feel like they have to just kind of sit here and deal with it, even though they don't like, you know, the fact that you're deciding to go into business with this particular individual. You know what I mean? Um, they, they feel like they can't really sit up here and say anything, especially because they know that this is something that you've been wanting to do for quite some time. They kind of feel like they got to bite down on their tongue and not say anything, even though they want to say something, even though they're, they, they don't like that you're going into business with this particular person. Like, um, they just kind of feel like they got to sit here and swallow their pride you know what i mean it's like the best way that i can describe uh what it is that i'm seeing here tell me more about the three of cups yeah there's like someone in per there's like someone in particular that um that they feel has like uh the power and the ability to like tear the two of you apart Okay, um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Emperor um, as well as the Four of Pentacles. You know why this person feels threatened by this individual is because this person that you're currently with looks at this person as somebody who's 10 times better than them in some way, shape or form. Don't ask me how. I don't know. Um, but they, they do look at this person as somebody who is 10 times better than them. OK. Um, and that's why they feel threatened. And that's kind of why they, they, they feel like this person has the power to tear the two of you apart and everything that you guys have been able to build with one another thus far. Um, so, you know, then there's that. OK, um, let's jump back over to you, my friend. How does Aries currently feel? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, we have the uh, Queen of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Queen of Pentacles. I think that this person's kind of right about you. Um, with the Queen of Swords, um, to the five pentacles of the seven of swords coming out here like there's i was kind of picking up on that where like this person's kind of looking at you as somebody who has kind of changed quite a bit okay um and it kind of looks like you have it kind of looks like you have changed quite a bit i feel like what's really changing to be completely honest is that you're just not prioritizing them like you used to um, it is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like that's what's drastically changing. Now, what, what's causing this drastic shift to happen here within you? I mean, listen, it could have a lot to do with the fact that, you know, this person has put you through a whole lot, you know, to the point where you're starting to kind of fall into this energy of, you know, what's the point of me prioritizing this person? What's the point of me focusing all of my time and energy towards this relationship if all they do is hurt me and disappoint me and let me down? Like, that could very well be what's causing this drastic shift um, within you. But I, I'm going to have to agree with them on that as far as, like, you drastically changing uh, within this relationship. I am definitely seeing the drastic shift, I would say, um within you now before i continue i could have sworn i heard somebody at my door so let me double check and i'll be right back okay 
we're back. Um, I don't even know where I left off, sorry. But um, yeah, it just kind of looks like um, you entered this relationship as a queen of pentacles and now you're showing up as a queen of swords. So yeah, um, things have definitely drastically changed here um, on your end anyways. This to me kind of, how do I explain it? This to me kind of looks like um, like somebody falling out of love with someone um that's the best way that i can kind of describe you and, and and what i'm seeing don't get me wrong you know what i mean i feel like you really do care about this person you know what i mean and and um i, I really do feel like you have love for them but i just don't feel like how do i say this i don't feel like the love that you have for them is as intense as it used to be i'll say it like that that sounds a lot better like i feel like you've got love for them i feel like you care for them but it's not to the like the degree um of how you once upon a time felt when it was like an all-time high you know what i mean uh because i feel like once upon a time you know what i mean like you found yourself like madly in love with this person now it's like i don't i don't I don't feel like I feel that way. You know what I mean? Um, I just kind of feel like, yeah, you've definitely changed. That's one thing that I will say. All right, what actions? Mm. Okay, so uh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Remember, remember when I said that, you know, like this person wants to like kind of get up and say something to you, but then they don't because like they don't want to come in between like you and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and create uh, into fruition here for yourself because they know how much it means to you. Well, it kind of looks like they're finally deciding to kind of get up and say something to you. Um Yeah, it kind of looks like they're going to get up and say something to you um, and, and speak their mind to you when it comes down to how they feel about, you know, you going into business with this particular person or whatever it is. Because I feel like whatever it is that you're currently up to, it requires you to surround yourself with a specific individual that they do not like. So I don't know if you're going in business with someone or what in the world's going on here, but whatever it is that you're currently up to, it requires you to be around a specific individual that they do not like or they do not want you even around so then there's that right so they're finally getting up and saying something to you um we do kind of see you we do kind of see you in this overall energy of feeling forced to like make a very very hard decision and 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 listen that decision is very clear-cut straightforward it's it's either you're going to continue to pursue whatever this thing is that you want to manifest into fruition here for yourself despite how they feel and if it causes the relationship to go south then fuck it it does and if it doesn't then it doesn't um or you're going to stop pursuing whatever it is that you currently find yourself pursuing and take how they feel you know into consideration just kind of put your dreams um and whatever it is that you want to manifest and create into fruition for yourself um on hold just to take their feelings you know what i mean um into consideration okay what actions will this person take towards aries or moving forward yeah 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 listen dude i feel like they're trying man like i feel like this person's trying to like remind themselves how important this is to you um and how much this means to you when it comes on to i guess starting this business you've always wanted to start or whatever it is that you currently find yourself up to like they know it means a great deal to you and they're trying to kind of take that into consideration and be super supportive of you um but with the nine of swords coming out here whew, that honey they're having a hard time you know what i mean they're having a hard time being supportive they're having a hard time not saying anything they're having a hard time um with all of this now with the page of pentacles to the nine of wands the ten of swords double confirmation that this person will speak up and tell you exactly how they feel about what it is that you currently find yourself um up to in regards to like whatever this thing is that you're trying to manifest into fruition for yourself yeah like they're gonna speak up about it um and they're also gonna speak on whoever this individual is in particular that they don't want you around 
is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. This whole like situation, like it makes this person, you know, very uncomfortable. It makes this person think things that they don't want to think. Um, you know, it makes this person, you know, feel like, you know, something's up, like something's going on. Um, so with that being said, I do kind of see them speaking on, you know, exactly how they feel about this entire situation. So again, it's like, you got a decision, you know, to make, you're either going to continue to pursue whatever it is that you're pursuing. And if they, you know, feel some type of way about it, then well, they feel some type of way about it. Um, and if it causes a breakup between the two of you, then it causes a breakup here between the two of you. Now, you know, for some of you, you might decide to put your dreams on hold and, and put whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into fruition here for yourself, you know, on the back burner, you know, just to kind of take how they basically feel, um, you know, into consideration, you know, that's definitely, um, a possibility okay um but the choice is entirely up to you what's the outcome here between these two hmm. that's bold that is very bold of you that is very but then again you you are an aries you are an aries yeah if this person thinks that you're going to stop doing whatever it is that you're doing and trying to manifest and to fruition here for yourself because they feel however it is that they you know feel yeah that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen i don't see that happening so it kind of looks like you're gonna do exactly what you know i said you could have eventually ended up doing in the end which is continuing to pursue you know whatever it is that you're currently pursuing and if they feel some type of way about it then they feel some type of way about it if it causes an ending here between the two of you then it causes an ending here between um you and them i, I just kind of feel like you've been putting whatever this thing is on hold for quite some time now um and i kind of feel like it has a lot to do with just life getting in the way it has a lot to do with people trying to stop you and you're done with that like you're you're tired of putting your dreams um, and, and what you want to manifest into fruition here for yourself on the back burner. You're like sick and tired of it. You're not doing that anymore. So um, it, it's, it's, it's either they get with the program or they don't. But if it's one thing that I will tell you is this, it kind of looks like they're going to try to get with the program. But I'm going to tell you this much. I'm going to tell you this much. Nine of wands to the, Ten of Swords, that, that's kind of telling me that, yeah, they might get with the program, but I see them becoming even more worried, even more on edge, even more suspicious of you, um, even more concerned, um, you know, to the point where, yeah, you know, it might it might reach a point where this person might feel like, you know what, I just, I can't do this, like, this is too much, I can't do this, like, I, I, I'm sorry, I just can't do this, can't do this, can't do this, can't do this. So, you know, um, tell you more about the Ten of Swords. Mm. You know what's fascinating about this one over here? This one got a lot of ego and pride. I will say that. But, you know, this person, like, here, here's the thing. Um, even though you're more than likely not going to sit up here and, and take, you know, how they feel into consideration to the point where you're going to stop doing what you're doing. Like, I don't see you doing that. Like it's, 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 they either get with the program or they don't, right? The choice is entirely up to them, right? But it kind of looks like they're going to try to get with the program. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and try to trust that you're not doing anything behind their back and that they don't have anything to worry about when it comes down to you, but they're still going to find themselves worrying either which way. They're still going to find themselves thinking a bunch of negative things. They're still going to find themselves on edge. They're still going to find themselves, you know, worrying themselves to death. They're still going to find themselves doing those things. However, remember when I said that this person might reach a point in time, right, where this person might feel like, yo, I just can't do this, this is too much, and then they decide to kind of like give up. I feel like what's really going to stop them from like officially giving up because this is going to become a lot for this person. I mean, for crying out loud, this is a lot. This is a lot, homie. Like this is, this is, this is a lot. Like this is a lot of negative thoughts running through this person's mind. This is a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of fear, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking. Like this is going to get pretty bad, I would say, uh, for this person. And yeah, it is going to start to become a little bit too much. But it's like the moment where this person just wants to kind of throw their hands, hands up and say, fuck it. Like, this is too much. I can't do this. Like, I can't do this, right? What's going to stop them, which I find it to be interesting, is, and I feel like it has a lot to do with ego and pride, but what's going to really stop them from, like, throwing their hands up and say, screw it, I give up? 
has a lot to do with the fact that they feel like if they were to just kind of throw their hands up and give up, they're just creating, they're just creating an opportunity for this person that they don't want you around or they, well, because there's somebody here that they don't want you around. There's somebody here that they don't, um, that they don't like that I guess you're surrounding yourself with, but yeah, they kind of feel like if they were to like surrender and just throw, you know, their hands up that they're just kind of creating an opportunity for this person to like, you know, come in and, and, and have you in the ways that they were basically able to have you. You gotta understand that this person looks at you like you're an empress. So they basically look at you like you're basically the total package. They basically look at you as somebody who can't be easily replaced. Um, so it, with that being said, it's like, you know, in their eyes, they feel like they hit the damn jackpot with you. So to have to just throw their hands up and, and, and surrender and just say, fuck it, I can't do this anymore. Is this too much? Like, they don't like the idea of like this person coming in and, and having you in the ways that they were able to have you and experience you. Um, that just does not sit well with their ego. That does not sit well with this person's pride. Um, so with that being said, yeah, they're going to find themselves at a point where they're just like, yo, I can't do this anymore. This is too much, right? Um, but are they going to actually like surrender and back down? No, because the idea alone of them surrendering and this person in particular coming in and attempting to even take their place, um, no, that doesn't sit well with them. Sorry, it doesn't sit well with them. So with that being said, it kind of looks like they're not going to go anywhere, but it also kind of looks like um, their anxiety, their worries, their fears, the whole what if this and that happens is just going to kind of escalate. Um, basically, it's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. So hopefully the reading helped, hopefully it resonated, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.